I'm just going to talk about how students have been supporting workers and how we formed the movement and how we were able to reach a point where this year we've, we unionized our faculty, thankfully. Next year, we're hoping to unionize all workers on campus, which is a great thing. But I want to first talk about administrative and institutional racism, discrimination, and abuse of worker rights. So we all know that all educational education institutions market themselves as both public institutions or institutions for the better of the, of the community. So Duke markets itself as the number one employer in Durham, the bridge between the outside world and Durham. Duke is going to make Durham better. But then when we come to ask them about living wages, when we ask them about black labor rights, when we ask them about institutional racism, where an executive vice president can commit a hit and run wow. with a black worker, get away with it, not be charged and coerce her into accepting an apology and not filing a lawsuit. Which is why it is our responsibility to step up right now and put our bodies on the line. Because at the end, why do we care about administration so much? Why does President Broadhead get paid a million dollars? Why do they get paid so much money when we barely see them? And the people that serve us food every day, that clean our, apart, uh, clean our dorms and our, and our institutions, the people who run our buses, why are they not paid enough? Why do they have to get the short end of this deal when they obviously are the most important to us and those we see every day? Aside from that, also, we know that most administrations, educational administrations, hate it when workers and students get together. I mean, I don't know what you guys have experienced at Central, but at Duke, whenever I try to talk to my housekeeping friends outside of the library, whenever I try to talk to any sort of worker, somehow their boss finds out that they've been talking to students and threatens them. And that's not okay. We know that's not okay. And this is why, this is why we're building what, it, what we're calling a student and worker solidarity, in which we as a movement focus ourselves around worker rights and worker demands, where they place their demands, they share their concerns with us students, and we put our bodies on the lines to get these demands across, to be able to embarrass these institutions and show them you can't hide anymore. You can't hide behind your laws, your policies, your bylaws, anything that you put in place to prevent black and brown labor from receiving their rights, you can't hide anymore, and we're going to uncover it. And that's the fight right now. We need to come together as students, realize our privilege, leverage our privilege, and defeat institutional racism and inequality. Thank you.